Today for the Bitcoin price, Bitcoin is right now bouncing back here into this symmetrical triangle. And the question right now is, of course, will Bitcoin go down for the next attempt and close a daily candle below? Because so far we did not close a daily candle below, which we mentioned as a very important requirement here for us to go bearish. So, of course, we will be talking about whether we are going bullish back again or bearish. We will be talking about specific price targets, which we will mention in this video. And of course, also guys, I will be covering the most important news here, which we saw here this year, the Federal Reserve announcing that they are buying corporate bonds. This is the beginning of zombie companies, guys. This is the nail in the coffin for the free markets. We will be talking about all of that and also on the implications on the free markets right now and also on the Bitcoin price. I will be sharing with you horrifying, horrifying numbers, guys. You do not want to miss out on that so make sure you take a seat make sure you scroll down you smash up the like button for that video to at least 3000 likes if you are doing that we will have a da vinci j15 episode coming up today or tomorrow and that being said welcome to friends and welcome back to mm crypto my name is chris and as always we are really pumped to go straight into the content okay guys and as always we are starting here on the four hourly candles for the bitcoin price and as you can see here after this massive bitcoin dump here bitcoin bounced back into this yeah let's call it still a symmetrical trend triangle and uh, yeah big sorry guys that i didn't do a video for three days we had here a very rough schedule in thailand we were on a boat trip and like yesterday also was extremely busy but now i'm back and i will cover everything you have to know for the markets right now and also for the breaking news i'm gonna announce it towards the end of the video however guys first of all if you watched our last video three days ago you know that we didn't take any action here because what we said is we need a daily candle to close below Below this upward sloping trend line to go into a short position to say that with a very high degree of certainty we are reaching our price level of 7600 us dollars by the way guys look this 20 second clip here from three days ago so it will be very important to observe if we can yeah remain these price levels and if bitcoin can remain in this triangle if bitcoin closes not a four hourly but a daily candle below the symmetrical triangle well guys then we might be looking out for this yeah measured move price target which we mentioned a lot of times here earlier here even though this was the um, um, more unlikely one so i would call this the line in the sand right now or maybe you could also call this upward sloping trend line the line in the sand but the very last one would be this one if we cannot hold this one with the daily candle the 9000 us dollar level i would say guys the likelihood significantly furthermore increases to go down to the 7500 us dollar level and as you can see see i announced there that we need a daily not a four hourly candle to close below if we go to the daily candles you can see that beautifully here after this dump bitcoin bounced back on time into this yeah symmetrical triangle and i will be telling you exactly why it bounced back and of course how we can interpret the situation right now whether we will remain in this um yeah symmetrical triangle and, and have this breakout towards the upside which is now more likely that we are back into the triangle or whether we uh, whether whether Bitcoin will go here for the next leg down. First of all, guys, you can see on the four hourly ribbon, Bitcoin just jumped also on the daily candle above, back above this four hourly ribbon, which is of course a bullish here for Bitcoin. And it's right now approaching the VPVR resistance here, the point of control on the four hourly candles. However, it will be very important to go above this one and then also close, not a four hourly, but a daily candle above this, get the confirmation and break out. Why am I always repeating these things guys it is very important that we have the check marks we need a significant volume we need a daily candle closing above or below this trend lines here to say with a high degree of certainty we are actually breaking out and then we also need this um, yeah this confirmation many people reached out to us and said thank you for giving us this um, this specific targets here and this specific check marks because we had so many fake outs here actually which were not confirmed when it comes to our specific specific rules and of course this prevented many many people of um, going into a long prematurely or going into a short prematurely sometimes not trading is the best strategy because this prevents you from getting losses and not yeah having a lo losing trade is also a win 
So right now, once again, we are waiting for these specific things. And in the meantime, we are just standing on the sidelines. In case we are breaking out, we still have the $11,800 level on the upside, which is the measured move price target, and the $7,600 US dollar level towards the downside. But you guys can let me know in the comment section down below if you think we are going to break out to the upside or to the downside. If you scroll down and you smash up the like button like crazy for this video to 2,000, 3,000 likes, at least we will do a new da vinci j15 episode after two weeks finally so scroll down smash up the like button i will be showing to da vinci that you are waiting for this that you are smashing the like button and you are waiting for his specific input here on the marketplace so make sure you scroll down and you smash up the like button thank you so much for that and now of course very very important guys before i'm going into here into this specific horrifying reason why the bitcoin price actually bounced back here before i'm doing that I wanted to announce something else because if we are looking here at the hash rate you can see that the hash rate is here constantly increasing showing that after the miners capitulation yeah the bitcoin market is actually recovering when it comes to the miners hash rate pulling out the yeah the the hash ribbons here we are talking about that since ages you can see that we are in this constant recovery here finally indicating that bitcoin will have yeah this buy signal flashing actually within june guys and whenever this buy signal flashes guys you know the deal the buy signals on the hash ribbons after the halving we just had the third halving are the most powerful ones and so far the buy signals after the previous halvings gave us a uh, um, yeah an average return of 5000%. So of course guys we want to wait and we want to see what happens here within June. Of course we can get the breakdown. However, even if we get it when this buy signal occurs guys, this will be the time when from an historical confidence level we can say we will have a significant upside here for Bitcoin. But now guys, this is what I've been waiting for because we have been calling for that. The Federal Reserve just announced that they will be buying corporate bonds guys and i will tell you the pure insanity of this announcement this is the nail in the coffin for free markets we will see the biggest bubble burst in the history of mankind by bitcoin guys and why am i saying this first of all i wanted to show you this very quick clip here from cnbc we'll look at this rick quick question for you sir all we're right. just getting word from the federal reserve and this might be boosting the markets uh, even more this afternoon they are talking about the details of their corporate bond purchases the SMCCF, there you go, is going to purchase corporate bonds to create a corporate bond portfolio based on a broad diversified market index of them. I mean, this is a biggie. Yeah, it is a biggie. Uh, you might see the indexes move up a little bit, and that should buoy stocks to some extent. And as you can see, they just announced that the Federal Reserve will buy corporate bonds. And what is so crazy about that? Well, guys, I wanted to show it to you. Here, the um, yeah, the New York Times actually announced the stocks climb after the Fed details bond buying plan. And I mean, guys, this is criminal. It is completely criminal. If the Federal Reserve goes to the free markets and buys corporate bonds not government bonds but corporate bonds and then later also eventually stocks and i will tell you exactly why this is the case all these yeah bonds um all these corporations if it's hurts which is right now i mean they just announced that they are going bankrupt right and why are they go going bankrupt well their business model is not um, capable in these times to survive and people on the free markets were not willing to give them cash to get uh, to fund their business at the specific bond yield and this is because the free market discovers well this is not a healthy business right now i do not want to give them my cash because they will be most probably not then be able to pay it back but when the federal reserve goes to the open marketplace and provides free freshly printed cash here for this specific bonds for this specific corporations then the free market is not working anymore they are funding zombie businesses which are not viable they are funding specific corporations which would not get this cash in the first place from the free market from the market participants evaluating this specific um, yeah, business model as not viable and when this happens 
This furthermore incentivizes corporations to act in a moral hazard kind of way. And when they do that, they don't have to be viable, they don't have to be profitable, because they know freshly printed, artificially printed money from the Federal Reserve will fund their business. And when this happens, guys, then we have not efficient markets, we have corporates, we have yeah, we have corporations actually acting in a non-efficient way and they are not allocating the resources, resources given to a given to them in a, um, in a resourceful and efficient way because they don't have to provide their viable business model as being uh, profitable for the open marketplace because there is one institution which can just print cash and give it to them. So this guys incentivizes zombie businesses, zombie corporations and non-viable business models to survive. And this is not good for the open marketplace because the open marketplace usually finds the perfect, yeah, the perfect yield for a corporation and only allocates resources to those corporations which, uh, yeah, provide their shares, which provide their bonds for a specific yield, which is fair. And this will not be happening anymore in the future. And the next step will be that the Federal Reserve will be printing cash and buy, uh, buying stocks, which is even more even more crazy and this is the reason why the stocks were climbing because no all the businesses out there will be funded by the federal reserve i mean guys it's 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 completely crazy i mean you you should take these people and put them into jail i i, I don't understand it i mean i i'm completely losing trust here in the in the rational of uh, politicians and also of uh, on all the people who are not grasping here that how, how crazy this whole situation is let me know in the comment section what you don't uh, think about that but actually what we can see here is that the corporate bond market right now is at close to 20 trillion us dollars and of course this number will be propped up like a crazy and of course this French freshly printed cash will be given to the corporations they will use this cash and pump it into the economy by yeah, buying resources goods and goods and services pr to pr provide their services and uh, to manufacture their goods and this will furthermore increase the currency in circulation and right now of course people are not spending it the velocity is low we might not see that in an inflation here in the immediate short term but i can promise you guys hands down this is my promise once the velocity keeps up growing, this will translate into a very high inflation and eventually maybe even into a hyperinflation. So guys, get ready. This announcement was massive. This announcement was crazy and heavy, heavy times are to come. But guys, please remember, scroll down, smash up the like button if you want to see the next DaVinci J15 episode and remember our words, please. Don't only look at our thumbnails and our titles. Watch the content and you will see these very important things we are telling you. For example, um, when we can confirm that we are going bearish and when we can confirm that we are going bullish. And of course, this thumbnail and the title is not the only thing to judge, even though some, the minority is doing that. However, guys, thank you so much for always smashing up the like button, for giving us this 96, 97% like to dislike ratio. It's really amazing, guys. And we will see each other very soon at the next one of MM Crypto and as always guys as always bye bye